I mean, it's like driving the coolest semi truck ever built. All right, get ready for takeoff. The limo jet is a Learjet fuselage uh, that has been retrofitted into a vehicle and street legal and one of the only ones on the planet. So I tell people all the time I was either smart enough or dumb enough to kind of jump headfirst into the project. It's probably three or four different types of vehicles that have been married into this one. We spent well over a million dollars to get it to where it's at. My name is Frank D'Angelo. I'm one of the owners of Jet Setter Incorporated. And behind me, I have the limo jet. Uh, I've always had a passion for cars. Uh, it really started when I was in the lim limousine business. I owned a company called Exotic Coach, and we would custom and create some of the craziest limos on the planet. And then when I was approached with this idea, it made logical sense. It's 42 feet long, you know, it's 11 feet 6 inches high, it's about 8 feet wide, and it's about 12,000 pounds. So we'll start on this side. One of the most popular things that people look at right away are the wheels and tires. So we have a set of Diablo rims and tires, 28 inch, um, with the custom fenders that were fabricated from fiberglass, made for the jet. Uh, some of the lighting came from Jeep and other lights came from, you know, we custom made. Um, you would start it like a regular car. So you put in the key, start it, crank it up, and you drive it like a regular car. You got your gas, you got your brake. Uh, these four panels here is the video system that we have. So we have cameras on the fenders front left we have cameras in the back on the engine so you can actually see everything that's going on in the back and then we have all the toggle switches to give it a little bit of an aircraft feel so all the light disco lighting disco floor all the exterior lighting everything is controlled from here just like you would a regular aircraft the interior was a lot more difficult we knew it was going to be a little tricky because this was unique um, and the everything's curved so we couldn't use any templates or we couldn't go up anything we had to hand make everything we started with the disco ceiling up here we did it this way so that when people ride in, they can see that you're really in a jet fuselage. So we put some custom plexiglass pieces, we lit it up with some LED lightings. Um, people really get a kick out of that and keep the feel of the limo jet. We have the big screen TV in the back with the sound system, our air conditioning. We have the infinity floor, which was a nice touch. People love it, right? So if you look down inside of it, you can come and step inside. And it looks like you're uh, old school married with new school. Eight passengers is the capacity in the back, plus the driver, so we kind of say nine passengers. We have two separate sound systems, so we have an interior and we have an exterior. You have your 12-inch subwoofer in here. Inside, this is basically just a giant speaker box at the end of the day. Um, we integrated these flaps over here to open up. You have speaker, subwoofer, speaker, speaker, subwoofer, speaker. So we wanted a little bit of afterburner look in here without putting the real fire inside of it. So they can either blink to look like a real afterburner, or you can just keep them on straight with nothing on over here. Um, so I, my guess, we haven't hit top speed. Maybe we'll do that today. Uh, top speed is probably a little bit over 100. I mean, a, you know, any any V8 engine is going to hit 140, 150, but this weighs over 12,000 pounds. So it is, you know, everything's for sale. I mean, our whole ultimate goal with this one, this is our prototype. You know, if they wanted this one, all the research and development that went into this somebody would have to offer me over five million. And I don't have any regrets, even though it took a long time, um, I'm happy that we're here now.